eczema is a dry and itchy skin condition. It is very common. Many children in my school have it and most use cream from their doctors to help with the dryness and itching. We put moisturisers on our skin every day to help keep control of our eczema. Moisturisers help to stop eczema flare-ups by stopping things from irritating our skin and by softening our skin, helping us feel less itchy and sore. There are lots of different types. Some are thick and greasy, whilst others are more thin and watery. It is hard to know which one is best for me to use. The best emollients for my eczema team designed a study. They call it a clinical trial, to make it easier for children like me to find the best moisturiser for my eczema. We recruited 550 children with eczema aged 6 months to 12 years across England. To make the comparisons fair, families did not get to choose which moisturiser they got. Instead, by chance, like rolling a dice, a computer decided whether they should use a lotion, gel, cream or ointment for 16 weeks. We filled out weekly questionnaires about our eczema symptoms and lots of other questions about how the eczema was affecting our lives too. A researcher also checked our skin. Some of us were interviewed with our parents to find out a bit more about how we got on with the moisturiser. So, what did we find? There was no clear winner between the different types of moisturisers. There were no differences in eczema symptoms and no difference in skin appearance. It did not matter how old we were, how bad our eczema was to start with, or whether our parents expected the moisturiser to work or not. On average, everyone's eczema got better during the study. You might think this means children should just use any type of moisturisers, but this isn't the case. Where one type worked for some people, other people did not like it or felt that it did not help their eczema. All four types of moisturisers cause problems for some children. This means all four types of moisturisers need to be available for children, as one size does not fit all. The best thing doctors, nurses and pharmacists who prescribe these moisturisers can do is to help parents and children make an informed choice. First, doctors, nurses and pharmacists need to ensure that parents and children are aware of the different options available. Second, parents and children need to understand how they differ in their characteristics such as consistency, ease of application and how quickly they absorb. Children and parents might also choose the moisturiser based on practical things such as whether it comes in a tube, pump or tub with people often finding tubes and pumps easier to use. Finally, Parents also need to understand what moisturisers are for and how to use them. Moisturisers should be used alongside treatments such as flare control creams. These are usually called topical corticosteroids. Parents and children should give their moisturiser a sufficient trial period of at least two weeks to help them decide if it works for them or not, unless they are experiencing any major problems with itching, dryness, inflammation or stinging. For more information about the background to the study, how we did the study and detail on our findings and recommendations, please visit our website www.bristol.ac.uk forward slash b hyphen study. Thank you to everyone who took part in the study.